Just in case. It's an old game. Yeah, yeah, it's an old game. It probably doesn't, you would think so. But I, I know of other games from this era on like PS1 that do actually autosave. You just never know. Okay, well that was odd. Why would it have a hallway all the way to here though? It didn't look like there were any other exits, so it's very suspicious. Ooh, can I get through here? Oh, I need to be at full, full uh, health though. Mm, there's a pizza piece up there. I can't get up there though. I, I guess I need to go back to the spirit world because sometimes there's just no health around at all. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do in those situations. I guess I'm just supposed to go back to the spirit world and get my health back and then come back. Apparently, I can't open the door with the spirit sword unless I'm in the physical world. go back into physical form? I assume I probably do. Yeah, Kane, Kane's, <laughs> Kane's obviously a biblical reference in that way as well. Oh, that's water down there. Like, how are you supposed to react to these guys? They, they attack so fast. I don't even know. You're gonna go to bed. Have a good sleep, Tyrion. They attack so fast, like, they're, it's not really possible to dodge them. You kinda can, but you more so need to just unlock them, it seems. I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to use the Soul Reaver that much in combat. <laughs> we'll just say that. By the time you close the distance, you've probably already gotten hit once. And it only appears at full health. We gotta get up there. Oh. Oh no. Hi. I don't know if there was anything I could have thrown him against out here. Pretty sure I need to be in physical form, though. Can't get up here. And two of those guys, that's just rude. Oh, I need to be in spirit form, actually. Or we're not? Is this not a, a gate? Uh, okay. Apparently that does not count. <laughs> I 
Oh, you can't, you can't do that and then glide. Okay. I did not play Blood Omen. No, it, the gameplay was not for me. But I, I've already gotten like the the gist on the lore for Blood Omen. That and I watched Dorgan play it, so. I'm supposed to phase through here, but why not? Unless I need to defeat those two enemies to unlock that door. Hmm. I was trying to get on the roof. That didn't really work. <laughs> Gosh, the movement is so fast. I just get up here? You actually can't get on those roofs. Okay. So... Mm. I guess we go back to the physical realm. Though I don't know how we defeat those spooker guys, though. Because there's no light sources or fire. I mean, there's those little things, but I don't think those count. There's no, like, pointy objects. There's no nothing to kill them. I'm just gonna leave, leave, leave those guys alone. Those gates, those gates are still there here. Oh, now it lets me on top. Rude. Um, I see. You see a ledge over there. I think you need to have a climbing ability for those from what I've gathered. Here? No. Gotta go left. Nope. Okay. Uh, there is an alley over there. I think sometimes get, things get their shapes twisted a little bit between the spirit material world. So the dimensions may have been unreachable. In the, I don't, they looked about the same to me. I know sometimes things do get twisted around, but that one seemed very odd. I did not move. Is there anything over here? Uh, no. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> There's no way to kill them. There's nothing around here. Unless I'm just supposed to throw them back in that other pit. Gosh. They really just don't give you any opportunity to look around in here, because I... I don't have a way to kill them. Unless you're supposed to only be able to kill them at full health or something. That would be weird. Uh, sure, you can point to something. could float to there and then hop up, but there's gotta be a reason this area is here. Unless I just can't see it because of the fog. You saw a spear on the ledge when I climbed earlier. Did you see one? I did. You can only use those, I think, like two times. Oh, I can, I can try to... I don't think I can get up to that point. Let me see. Which, which ledge was it? 
If, if I'm just straight up missing something like this, where it's like I, I, I'm just not finding it. I don't mind some help in that regard. But oh, there is one up there. The back seating is situational. I guess we'll say that. If I feel like I've got it, then that's fine. If I'm just, I clearly like missed something and I'm probably not gonna go back around for it. I don't mind some help on that regard. Oh, okay. Like being stuck in a room with like a boss and like there's nowhere else to go. That's like one thing. Let's bring them down here. Oh my gosh, that one was still waiting. Come here. I need some health, please. It's so strange because they were so forthcoming of all the all the mysterious objects to kill these guys with. Until this very point in the game. Which honestly, that's kind of been the design trend so far is just being kind of being kind of weird about when they're going to tell me where to go versus how they were at the beginning of the game. Wonder I can't get up there. We're not. Hmm. There's no blocks around here, and I can't get up. Hmm. Okay, that's too high. Oh, what? Where did, where did you even come from? Did you just respawn? Very weird. Maybe I just don't have an, a certain power to get up there. That may lead back around to where that other that other piece of pizza was. You can't grapple onto those ledges. Gotcha. Okay. I I held the button. Hello, sir. Are you, are you okay? You just kind of just, just hanging around. All right, have a good nighty, Nuki. Oh. oh, thank you so much for the follow. I think the main thing that comes to mind when it comes to like backseating rules for me is it's when I'm on the verge of discovering something or if I've just like walked into a boss arena and I haven't figured out explicitly what to do, it just really bothers me when someone just says, oh, you're, yeah, that's his weakness. And I'm just like, I didn't even get a chance. It just it just kills me. And then I, I feel bad for the entire rest of the time. I just like having a chance to figure things out. And then if I'm extremely struggling, because <laughs> I obviously missed something very important, I don't mind hints. Just like not, I just don't like being told directly what to do. Or if someone says, hey, do you want a hint? That That's probably my rule. Just ask if I want a hint, pretty much. And I'll say, yeah. All right, Shelob. Alright, give me oh no, am I Oh, there we go. My oh, poor guy. Gosh, I would hate to be a person living in this world. <laughs> I would hate to be alive with all these vampires everywhere. 
It's like, what, what do you even do? I, I mean, for one, they should all be carrying spears. I don't, I guess they have crossbows because maybe those count as piercing weapons, but they don't seem to be faring so well. Once a testament to mankind's defiance of Cain's empire, this towering cathedral now stood derelict. The humans who worshipped here, dead for centuries. Its architects conceived this tower as a holy weapon against the vampire menace, a colossal instrument of brass and stone. The cathedral's pipes, once tuned to blast a deadly hymn, now stood silent, and these vacant spaces whistled their impotence. Soul Reaver. I always wanted to play Soul Reaver. Well, hey, the opportunity is always a knocking. It's just not maybe the most convenient game to get set up to play. But you know, there, there are ways, there are ways. Have you played any other Legacy of Kane games, Rain? for your respawn point. Whoosh! If only I could just phase through the floor. Though I think there, there may be like water under there. <laughs> water. Play like five minutes on your Dreamcast. Well, hey, if you still got it. <laughs> you are in luck. <laughs> I've been having some fun so far. I would just say if you're easily frustrated, probably have like a a guide or something on hand just to be like, hey, you should you should go here. And you're like, oh, okay. Oh no, the ancient bullseye. <laughs> Whatever shall we do? I like how they get embarrassed and then I destroy them. Oh no. That just led around to here again. What? Oh no. Why? Is it supposed to do something over here or is that, <laughs> is that supposed to be like a shortcut? Get a high jumped, but no well. Nope. Platforming is a little weird with the camera sometimes. That was odd. Why did that just lead back in a full circle? Makes me wonder if I missed something out here. Where is that building? I don't know, I'm gonna get over there. I mean, I can land on that, but that's not gonna help me. I don't think there's anything over there anyway. Hmm. This was the right way to go. We got a cutscene after all. Cutscenes mean you're always going the right way. Hmm. Is there like anything else in here? I have a feeling we're supposed to jump down there, but maybe not go that one way. And this way, there's nothing here. I think this is just like a spirit realm physical swap point. Which honestly, I could do that because I'm very low on health. Ooh, look at the pipes. They got all twisted. Any health around here? There's one. 
Maybe now I can like platform up these. No. The answer is no. Maybe that one though. That one has like an oddly like rough angle to it. Ooh, wait, I may have found the way. And then we go back. It's very odd I didn't get any kind of tutorial for this mechanic, I should add. It just kind of went, yeah, there's a dead end. <laughs> I hope you figure it out. <laughs> there's that door and then there's switching all over there. Let's go through this door first. This might have like a teleport point down here. Oh, hi. You can just destroy them with it. That's cool. You just obliterate them into smithereens. That's cool. But you can only do it when you're at full health. I need a block. Or do I? Yeah, can I jump on that? That'd be kind of funny. There's there's a switch right there, but I can't I can't do it. Which means either for some reason in the spirit world there's a platform here, or I'm supposed to switch a different switch first. Anything... Oh. Can't stand on him though. Kind of. Oh, there's like nothing in here. Okay, I mean, I can switch, but then I'm gonna have to go a long way around. Well then, even if I did that, I wouldn't be able to switch them. There's a magic thing here. Hmm. Unless that's a point. Is that a point? Oh, that is a point. It's just <laughs> it didn't render correctly for some reason. Hmm. I think I was supposed to flip that other switch first and then come down here. Which is a rude design choice. Close enough. Okay, well we can we can spirit our way through here. Ooh, okay, here's a block puzzle we can do. Oh no. Oh my goodness. OK, 
Okay, what, what am I supposed to do with them, though? Am I just supposed to use the Soul Reaper? This is very rude. So I have- I don't see any way to kill them in here. I mean, there's little fire sconces, but I don't think those count. I try. Yeah, I don't- I don't think those count. They just- just eat me. I think I have to have the Soul Reaper to get those guys. And then you're just supposed to get them down one at a time while well, being lucky that you don't get hit. And I got hit, so. I think that's the only way you can deal with them, is to do it that way. Weird design choice, but I don't know. I guess it's- I guess it's their way of doing puzzles. Yeah, you can get hit while <laughs> while you're in the middle of trying to trying to do the other ones. All right. Whoop. I am glad we have more block puzzles, though. I like the blocks. Come here. There we go. Alrighty. I will suck his soul just because I am angry at him. Alright, so we need to complete the boxes. Which we shall do by flipping these things to figure out what's on them, if anything. Well, there is a hand here. Who, need who needs a hand? Who needs a hand? Do you need a hand? You do need a hand. So we gotta flip that thing over. I do like how it, it actually clicks and makes a sound whenever you got it right. So we gotta do it this way. And wait, no, no, no. And this way. Give him a hand. <laughs> it's he's, he moves so fast it's hard to just stop right in front of where you need to go what is going on here hmm it's like they have this weird twin headed Buddha kind of thing going on. I'm not quite right. Here we go. That one doesn't quite match up. We'll just ignore it. Oh no, I need to bring that one over first. Oh, what? Hey! That is rude. That is very rude. Why would you make it to where they can spawn in a puzzle room? 
Helping hand is the one ability you remove, you still don't get what it actually does. I think it raises the critical hit ratio of your partner. The partners in double battles. This is a two hitter, gotcha. Just something like that. I feel like you should never make enemies respawn in puzzle rooms unless the enemies are part of the puzzle. Hit him some extra for fun. It could be that they're respawning just because um, I didn't suck their souls the first time, but... So this one we have to rotate all the way around, because when we lift it up it's going to turn. I am literally holding right. <laughs> I was holding the same direction and he moved it two different ways. He was never the best with directions. Well, now I gotta get another cube just so I can move that thing over. I wish I'd noticed that one first. I have to go one more over. There we go. I'm really wondering if the audio glitching is, is the emulator or if that's just how it was. probably the emulator, even though it's running very solidly, but, you know, emulation. <laughs> it's how it be sometimes. Especially for some, some of these weird systems. It just bothers me because it cuts out dialogue sometimes in cutscenes. Orb! You got your emotes. Put out them orbs. No, my spear! <laughs> no. Forever stuck in the cosmos of solid rock. 